Okay, um, a solution to that earlier problem. Um, I've had a bit of a clean up as well. Um, so I'm now able to show my tour list and my tour details. So React is now managing with the these um, state variables, whether they're shown or not. And that was always how I wanted it. And I always felt that these two components should manage their own, you know, being really. So I, I really didn't like the fact that within this tour detail, I had, I was listening for events and that event couldn't be listened to when the, um, when it wasn't attached on the DOM, or at least it, it came into listening to it just too late. So the answer actually is um, here um, on the initial state. Um, I, I already, or, already had this, um, this um, method which returns the current tour detail. So instead of returning and, and setting state, we just get the tour detail which is um, matched here based upon the current tour, which is the ID. So it checks the it checks this for the particular ID and when it gets a match it says right that's the tool we asked for and so this works now without any any um we didn't even need I don't think we need underscore in here anymore either and we didn't we do need a vent dispatcher So essentially, we can now see this working. Um, okay, there's a little bit of a clunky, um, but that's absolutely what I was. All I'm trying to do at this stage um, is get through to the detail view. Um, I might actually look into some routing for this, but uh, or the detail will open up in a in a box below or something like that. So you can always click these. I may I may run it so that that so that the the detail appears in this info box and I'm going to also have a selection of filters so yeah so that was the fix for that and it was incredibly easy um, but I went down the route of following um, uh, a tutorial on Flux and Flux had this idea where you come back into here and um, let's all of this that I got through. So basically, on a mountain, you bind to a detail event that I would send out from the store here. So here, I trigger a detail and with the particular item, and my detail is able to pick this up. But of course, the problem was was that the 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 item wasn't mounted to the actual DOM yet so that was never going to work and this using flux in its correct way is the solution which is simply using a store and having a store method return your data that you need so within the store I've got some getters and a few setters as required currently um, and store also manages the um, stores are not are not unique to React either. We used to have stores in ActionScript actually, so in some of the libraries there, like RoboLex and stuff. So, um, and and it just makes total sense for this when it when it builds and populates to go to the store for that. Um, I don't know if I if I'm short circuiting and doing something and making a overly something overly dependent, but um, this this works for me and it seems very neat and tidy so yeah be interested to see what you think of that but that's my solution for that